and thousands of bees are settling into a new home in Westport this evening thanks to the hard work of dedicated volunteers. News of Connecticut's John McCabe has more on why and how those bees were even moved. So these are flying out into our native plant court that fly and can go collect their food and pollen. The observation hive is a chance for Earth Place visitors to get up close and personal with their local pollinators. They can spot the queen, they can look at workers, they can see where honey is stored, pollen is stored. It's a nice educational tool. With the queen laying new eggs all the time, employees here say it can take only a few weeks for things to start getting crowded. And there's no room for the queen to, to reproduce and we, and it's, or for them to store food. There's just too many bees in there. If the observation hive gets too crowded, there is a risk of a swarm here on the property. That's why Backyard Beekeepers Association is helping Earth Place move three to 5,000 bees to their new home out here in the meadow today. We have in the meadow over here a hive that we maintain as a support hive for the demonstration hive. With a handheld smoker keeping the bees docile, the backyard beekeepers set me up with a hood just to be extra safe. I get stung about once or twice a month uh, when I'm working the hive, and usually it's my, my mistake. The trick is making sure the observation hive's queen stays put while a few thousand of her children leave for greener pastures. There are a lot of bees on a frame, so finding the queen is always a little bit of a challenge. Backyard beekeepers offering the resources to turn your own yard into a home for honeybees. It's just fascinating, I think. So for someone who's interested in the natural world, it's, I'm surprised everyone isn't, isn't into beekeeping. In Westport, Sean McCabe, News 12, Connecticut.